there, I'm Brian Taylor with Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida, and today I want to take you on a tour of this 2009 Holiday Rambler Admiral we have. Let's go ahead and start our tour on the inside of the coach. Okay, let's go ahead and start the tour of this coach uh, here on the inside. It's a 2009 Holiday Rambler Admiral, and it's the 30 SFS floor plan. Not 100% sure, but I'm almost positive that this is the most popular floor plan that they had in the Admiral uh, for 09 and around that time period. This is a 30-foot coach. The actual outside length is 31 feet, and it has one slide out, but it's a, it's a full wall slide. It goes all the way from right here behind the driver's seat to the back of the coach. So it's just a really great livable floor plan in a really easy to maneuver length. Uh, super popular. We've had them here before and they don't last any time at all. They're just a really great selling coach because it's such a great floor plan. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the coach. Uh, I'm going to show you the layout and some of the features that the coach has. And also as we go through, I'm going to point out the condition that the coach is in. Uh, this coach has only 18,772 miles on it, uh, and it's in phenomenally good condition, but uh, it is a used coach. So as we go through, if I see a flaw somewhere, I'm going to point it out to you. And we do this video is used in conjunction with a detailed picture package that we can take for you. Um, that will show you another 100 to 150 pictures of the coach uh, if you're interested in it. Uh, we can get those pack, those pictures taken for you, get them sent to you, and you use the, the video in conjunction with those pictures, and you're going to know uh, in the comfort of your own home what condition this coach is in uh, visually and cosmetically before you ever even have to make a trip over here to look at it. Um, nothing is a, is, a, is a perfect substitution for seeing something in person, but we try to do our very best. So uh, let's go ahead and just start the tour. We'll jump right into it and we're gonna do it up, uh, we're gonna start right up here in the front. Uh, I've got the passenger seat turned around uh, facing into the living area. You can see it's a cream, uh, I think it's a cream vinyl um, in just perfect shape. These look brand new. Uh, you can't see any wear or tear on them at all. Uh, the dashboard is the same way. It's in excellent condition. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice uh, kind of a leather grain uh, vinyl uh, covered dash and it's in perfect condition. You can see we've got curtains that cover uh, the window and we also have these nice uh, blackout shades uh, that you can use uh, as sun shades and also helps block the amount of light coming in when you're parked. Uh, we've got the cherry colored cabinetry in this. They're real wood fronts. Uh, on the doors uh, in a really nice uh, cherry color. We got a sharp flat screen television. Uh, up here we've got a DVD player and more cabinetry over here. Uh, right here we have our zone defense uh, backup monitor. This is going to not only show you the backup camera, uh, give you a view when you're backing up, but it also has turn signal cameras. And this is working, uh, working great. That's a great safety feature. Definitely one of those features you ought to consider having on your coach. Because um, uh, even someone like myself who drives a lot of different motorhomes and I drive them very regularly, I love having that extra peace of mind of having those side cameras. They're really, really nice. Uh, we got our generator start right here, battery boost, uh, this is to turn the radio on and off. Right here's our radio, it's a CD player, uh, AM FM CD player. Here's our uh, air conditioning and heat controls. We have LCI electronic, electronic leveling on this. So we have uh, uh, an auto leveler where you just touch a button and it's going to automatically level for you. Uh, this rides on the Ford chassis, the F53 chassis, and uh, we have the uh, cruise control um, uh, controls are in the steering wheel. Over here we have fog lights and mirror heat uh, switches. Uh, pretty much just your standard Ford uh, layout up here. Uh, again, it's got 18,700 miles, so really low mile coach. Um, can't get much better than that. Uh, the driver's seat is in excellent condition. It shows a literally no wear or tear either. Coming back into the living area, we have a full sleeper sofa right here. So this is uh, just like your residential style sleeper sofa. The, um, uh, the, the fabric is, is, is in excellent condition. There are no rips or tears or stains. Uh, and I, I don't really even see any wear or tear on it. It is in just excellent condition. 
We have our day-night uh, pleated shades around here. This is full room darkening, and then when you put it into that position, it's a more of a light filtering. Uh, they're in good shape. There's a little spot on this one, and the one by the dinette has a few little spots on it. We do need to try to clean them, uh, but they're not bad. But again, we're doing these videos to show you not only the good stuff, but I'm trying to point out any flaws that I can find. In this living area of the coach, it looks really, really nice. Um, as close to probably new as you're going to find in an 09, but there is a, a little bit of wear and tear on that, um, on that blind. It's like I tell people all the time, all it takes is one spaghetti dinner. One spaghetti dinner and you've got spots on those blinds. So. Uh, coming over to the kitchen, we have uh, Corian countertops uh, with a double bowl stainless sink right here, and that's about a 70-30 split, a large bowl on the right, smaller bowl on the left. We've got our high-rise um, chrome finished hardware here, more cabinetry up above that. We have a countertop extension that folds out from the side right here. We have uh, an area, a nice big storage area down below, a bank of three drawers right here a bank of three more drawers over here. You've got your three burner cooktop. It's in excellent shape. Very, very, very little wear care showing on that. And we have our sharp carousel convection microwave up here. This will not only microwave, but it will bake. So you can preheat that oven up to about 450 degrees uh, and you're gonna be able to cook turkey, cook uh, whatever you wanna cook in there. They're really nice. Um, Back here we have our two-door Norcold refrigerator. Uh, it works great. Uh, it's in really nice clean condition. It's also got the raised panel cherry front on that, which is nice. We have some storage area up above that. We've got our freestanding dinette up back here, um, which is, this is your, uh, your uh, Formica countertop on these, and they're in excellent condition. And again, we've got a couple of little spots here and there on those blinds. We are gonna tr uh, try to clean those up. Um, but the, that's the only, the only thing I really notice in here because our carpet's in really, really nice shape. Uh, the carpet's got to be on a 1 to 10 scale, 10 being brand new carpet. I'm going to rate this at about a, probably an 8.5. It's really, really nice. There's no, uh, there's no stains that I see. There's no uh, rips or anything like that. And the traffic areas are, are show very, very, very little wear and tear. Uh, over here we have our remote controlled carrier roof AC, so you just touch a button and you can uh, change the thermostat controls on that. Um, we've got bay heat right here. We've got our monitor panels which will let you know how much LP gas, fresh water, gray water, and, and black water, uh, how much uh, you have in each of those tanks. Um, you just touch a button there and they light up. We've got a water pump control right here, our 12 volt and 120 volt. Uh, water heaters uh, and your slide control right here. Also, we got a fantastic vent control for uh, uh, right over here for uh, it's the fan up there. Uh, coming into the kitchen or the kitchen, this is a bathroom. Uh, coming into the bathroom, we have a nice shower here with a glass enclosure, um, good size shower. Uh, got nice little cubbies in the corner for putting uh, shampoo and stuff like that on it. We've got our big mirror here with a medicine cabinet, a stainless sink here and a china toilet. Everything is in really great shape in there. There's no evidence of any leaks around the skylight or anywhere else. The flooring's in excellent condition. There's really not much to point out in there um, other than it just being in great shape. Coming back here to the bedroom, we have a nice amount of closet space. We have a nice big hanging storage right there, a bank of six drawers below that. We have um, a corner cabinet here, which goes back in here probably a couple of feet. Uh, we got some more throw pillows in here, which are nice. They're the factory throw pillows. Uh, we've got a drawer right here that's going to have, uh, it's a DVD player. And then this is a flat screen sharp television right here. And I know that this angle is a little bit odd, so hopefully you can see it. But you can see you're not wasting any space there. You can open this up. You can get in there and have a few items back there, so that's nice. We got our queen size bed right here. Uh, nice padded upholstered headboard. Uh, we've got three cabinets up above uh, that area. Um, actually, I believe this one has, this is our, uh, our breakers, uh, circuit breakers and fuses over on this side. Uh, we do have storage underneath the bed. This lifts up. 
We have a nightstand on either side and we have a drawers uh, in the nightstands. So these are nice. These are all solid wood doors. Uh, drawers, I mean. There's no uh, press board in any of those boxes. So they're nice high quality. We've got the same room darkening shades back here. And we also have a really large uh, sliding door here to give you complete privacy. And that's a really nice quality door. Uh, very nice uh, setup right there. And finally, I'll show you just a little bit more cabinet space we had that I missed as we were going back. This is so deep. This comes back maybe four feet, I'm guessing, three and a half to four feet back in there. You've got a hanging storage area here and racks uh, or shelves back here, which would be really great for um, shoes. Uh, also, you could use that for pantry area. So this could be a dual purpose uh, closet, depending on what you need it for. We also have a bank of four drawers below that. Again, the carpet's really nice back here. Bedspread's in excellent shape. We got a, our mattress in good shape underneath that. No evidence of any leaks in the ceiling. No evidence of any leaks in the walls that we can see. Uh, the inside of the coach is just jam up. So that's pretty much the inside of the coach. Let's go ahead on out to the outside and I'll show you around out there. Okay, let's go ahead and continue our tour of this 2009 Holiday Rambler Admiral here on the outside. Uh, again, this is the uh, 30 SFS floor plan. Uh, we're going to start here at the front. The uh, front windshield is a one-piece design, which is great. Gives you really great visibility and a nice view of the road. Um, it's in perfect condition. There's no chips or cracks on that. Both the mirrors are in excellent condition. Uh, the arms are in great condition and the chrome's nice. Uh, there's no pitting or peeling on the chrome. The front end of the coach is, is, is almost perfect. Uh, this originally had the clear protective film on it. Uh, if you've watched very many of my videos, you'll know I'm not a big fan of that stuff. We had it professionally removed on this coach and the paint is in basically almost perfect condition. There's maybe a chip here or there um, uh, by where maybe the corner of the film was at, but almost perfect up here. Really no bug chips. Uh, or rock marks or anything like that to point out. The chrome is in nice shape on the grill here. Uh, a little tiny nick in the chrome right there. But overall, the front of the coach is almost a 10 on the 10 scale. I mean, it's a 9.5. It's almost perfect. Coming around to the side of the coach, you can see we got the full body paint. That's just uh, really a stunning design that they have on this uh, on this Holiday Rambler. It is uh, really pretty earth tones. It's got a cream color with a kind of a chocolate brown, kind of a burgundy brown and gold. So you get about four different colors in a really nice design. Very good quality full body paint. Um, it, it, it really is in excellent shape. There's no delamination on the, the coach at all. There's, there's no soft spots. There's no crazing or anything like that in any of the colors. Uh, the paint is uh, other than maybe a chip here and there, it's, it's just almost perfect outside. It's really, really nice. We've got uh, chrome simulators on the wheels. Our steps are in great shape. Our, our grab handle's in excellent shape. The same with our entry handle. Right here is our, um, our hot water heater. Everything's in good shape in there. Right here is uh, a storage bay. That goes back um, about uh, it's actually a full pass-through storage on the top section. You've got maybe a foot that's all the way, you know, pass-through storage, which would be good for like maybe a ladder. Uh, but the actual bulk of that uh, storage area is maybe about two feet deep. Uh, oh, one thing I want to mention before we move on is we do have an automatic power awning, uh, power awning out here. It's not a manual awning, so that's kind of nice. I don't have it deployed right now, but it does have an automatic awning. Right here's our furnace. Right here is the back side of our refrigerator. This is our LP gas tank right there. You see it's in nice shape in there. We haven't done any paint work. We haven't even done any cleaning in there. It's just, uh, it's not all rusted up or anything. It's in real nice shape. Um, coming on back here, right here is where you'd fill up your gas. Uh, in here is our battery compartment and another storage compartment. The batteries are in great shape. They hold a the charge really good. You have a battery cutoff switch right here for those house batteries. Uh, here's another storage bay, and this is mostly just for shallow items in here. It's only about maybe eight or 10 inches tall. You can fit some small items in here. There's some plumbing over in this area, but it's still uh, sufficient to put some items in. Coming to the back of the trailer, or trailer, motor home, we have a, an aluminum ladder to go to the roof. 
Uh, the paint is in nice shape back here. There's a few little chips and scratches back here that I'd like to point out. Uh, you'll be able to see them a little bit better on the detailed video, uh, picture package we can send you. There's a chip right here with a tiny little scratch that would probably actually compound out. A couple of little scratches back here and little chips, but still overall, uh, it's all in the brown. Uh, all the little chips are in the brown, but there's not that many and it is very minor. Uh, I'm still going to say that's probably an eight and a half to a nine back here on the back. Uh, there is no apologies at all to be made for the outside of this coach. It's really in nice shape. So just very, very little minor chips back there. Again, we like to point out the good and the bad. Uh, in here we have another storage compartment. We also have our transfer switch for the electric. So you got your electric storage and stuff like that in there. Up here's your wet bay. So you've got your black and gray water valves, your water hookup and stuff like that. Everything's in real nice shape in there also. All of these bay doors on this side as well as the other side are good and straight. There's no dings or dents in them and there's like virtually no chips or scratches on any of that area. Here's our full wall slide. This will give you a really good idea. I'm going to back up just a little bit of just how large this slide out is. Starts right here and goes all the way up to the driver's seat. So almost the whole side of the wall uh, pulls out on this and the, the paint is just perfect. I mean there's no flaws at all in this paint. It could literally pass for a brand new coach uh, when you're looking at the sidewall paint here. Right here's our Onan generator. It's a micro, micro quiet, I believe uh, our, uh, it's the 4000 kilowatt generator. Actually doesn't say micro quiet. Maybe they're not designating that in 09, but it's a 4000 watt generator. It runs great. Here's a big storage bay in here. And that's, uh, that's that uh, pass-through storage bay on the top and a very nice size uh, compartment on the bottom there. These side opening bay doors are really nice. In 2005, Monaco went to side opening bay doors and it's almost a necessity when you're trying to get into compartments when your slide outs are out. In here we've got more storage and that's a fuse and breaker box back in there, or actually fuses and relays back in that area, a couple of solenoids. Monaco products do a really good job of organizing the electrical um, and that's a very easy way to troubleshoot any electrical problems on the coach. Uh, emblems are in great shape, paint's in great shape up here, again the mirrors are nice. It's just a really, really nice coach. This is the type of stuff that we do best here at RV, uh, at Highway RV. Really, really nice quality units. I don't really care if something's a 1995 or a 2015 as long as it's nice. And this perfectly fits the bill for Highway RV. And uh, this particular floor plan is the type of stuff that we're looking for all the time. Full body paint full wall slide, 30 foot easy maneuverability, low mileage, you just can't go wrong with it. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to call us at Highway RV. Our number is 863-956-1036. My name is Brian, but whoever answers the phone will be glad to help you. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. And again, I hope it's been helpful for you. You have a great day and God bless.